And they're trying to murder the babies? Yeah. Oh, here, ma'am. Here, ma'am. Oh, please, look. Yeah. Yeah, right here. Look, look at what they do to children here. Yeah. Right here. Please look at the. You don't care about kids. Ma'am, watch the language of kids out here. Watch your language. You, you don't care about kids. You don't care about kids. You're a hypocrite, ma'am. A hypocrite, a coward, and a baby murderer. You don't care about kids. You don't care about kids, ma'am. <laughs> you don't care about kids at all. You faint about compassion for kids, but then you drop foul language. You have this garbage out here. Tripping hazard for kids. This, this is a safety hazard, ma'am. If you care about kids, come take this all down. Come take it all down, but you're not going to do that, are you? Take it down. It's a safety, it's a safety hazard. You don't care about kids. As you're here to do this to children. Can I move your ladder and get their stuff? No. The Bible says, for the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. Maybe you got a, you got a friend here to murder the baby? That's a fetus, sir. Yeah, fetus. You don't speak loud, man. We're in America. Okay, you got, you're not, just because you have balls doesn't make another right for my womb. You have no right to no womb. You have no right to sit around and tell any woman what to do with their womb. Stop. Well, man. I love you. You're the feelings police so now? You're the feelings police? With you. I'm glad to conversate with you so that I can have this documented for my my recognition for what I feel like I'm standing at. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, I'm glad to meet you in the name of God. With all of your Press be a Christian, ma'am. What do you, what do you, you press? No, I'm talking what God speaks about my heart. You have no Professing Christian? The power of the of a woman. Who are you, sir? That's why I'm wondering of you, ma'am. You profess to be a Christian? Ma'am, if you had the Holy Spirit in you, you would not be here murdering babies. Mind your business, sir. Keep driving. Mind your business. Ma'am, the Holy Spirit is not in you. You think it's okay. You don't care. Yeah, but you may have a devil in you. Not my God, not my circus. Yeah, you're right. You have a different God, ma'am. If this is what God is, I'm not one of you. Nothing about it. Well, yeah, that's you don't have God, ma'am. You have a false God. You have a fake. Yeah, you, you have a fake spirit in you. You don't have the Holy Spirit in you, ma'am. You're not a Christian, ma'am. You don't have the Holy Spirit in you. You have a devil in you, probably. That's why you're here to murder babies, ma'am. That's why you're here to murder babies. You wouldn't be the first professing Christian I've met at these pl places of death even recently. Jesus said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. If you don't love him, you won't keep his commandments. Simple as that. How many professing Christians we got here today murdering helpless babies, being cowards and bullies and harassers of helpless children? How many? Again, folks, please hear. The Bible says in Revelation 21, verse 8, that the cowardly and murderers will have their part in the lake that burns with fire and brimstone. That's a loving thing we're saying to you, a loving warning, because we don't want any of you to die and go to hell. You see, the Bible says that in hell is a place where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth, where the worm does not die, where the fire is not quenched. 